uh, of course, sounds like data of some sort being sent around. So I tracked it down and found out that those, those were pagers. And uh, if you actually trap that sound in an audio program and look at the waveform it creates, <coughs> that basically reads like a bunch of ones and zeros, and you can decode it. But luckily, there's software to decode that for us. So if I just plug directly into the headphone jack, output and run that into my computer we might be able to trap some of those pages. What I have here is a program called PDW version 2.3 and that's what it does is the ProSeg uh, data and that's what the uh, pagers are working on. Now I haven't captured any pages yet but you see it's got a meter up there that monitors the signal and when it hits the pager's two tones, then it starts trying to trap it and decode it for us. See, there, the whole signal. There, now I'm getting some data coming through. Now, this software is a real pain in the ass to get working. Uh, under setup here, it, I had to choose custom and set custom options. And I basically went through the 512 baud and the 1200 bauds and just tweaked them until I got them to sound right. I have them set at 883333, works real well for me. And everything makes a difference, your volume, microphone input volume on your computer and your output on your scanner. All uh, Just sit here and uh, listen to it or monitor this meter up here in the corner and you'll see it goes off, I don't know, I'd say every 10 seconds or so. But I let it run pages. Um, down here is when I finally got my uh, audio set right. And you see I received a couple pagers. Um, as you can see, I received a couple pages. Over here in this column is the address of that particular pager, so you can trap those and filter those out. So if you, you know, you can personalize them a little bit, and you can know who they are if you see lots of them. Uh, a lot of the ones I'm getting are doctors and, and whatnot, uh, a lot of paramedics and, and stuff like that. The system sends out a test message every once in a while just to ensure that the system's up and running. This is message 5573. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much about it. There's a few common frequencies to monitor, and if you get your system set up just right and you get good quality signal, uh, it's easy to do, and your scanners probably do it all.